and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, Thanks for today. having me. Uh, I guess I don't agree with everyone on the panel that would have individuals uh, pay all the taxes in this country. I think there's this shared burden that needs to be going forward. I'm a little surprised that some people seem to be suggesting that we need to increase taxes on individuals, especially in these very, very difficult times. I don't think America really ready for that. Um, I am interested in uh, you know some of the recommendations that uh, the taxpayer advocate has made. You know, and I came in late, and I apologize if you've addressed this, but there were several changes regarding tech, uh, some of the checkbox things on uh, uh, Form C and uh, adding lines to Form C that uh, most small businesses uh, uh, file their returns with. Was that discussed at all, and are you familiar with that? Um, I'm, no, it wasn't, and I'm not well, the, sure exactly what you're talking about. Well, uh, it's my understanding that uh, you know for the last several years, the Taxpayer Advocate Report had talked about making some changes to Form C. and. Uh, trying to simplify it a little bit, make it a little bit uh, user friend, more user friendly for small businesses, and uh, well, I'll get to you later. Sure. Then, uh, make it easier for you uh, going forward. We've also uh, uh, introduced a, a bill on uh, uh, home office deduction simplification, and uh, hopefully that'll wind its way through this Congress at some point in time. Trying to make it easier for you know small businesses, uh, which are constitute, I mean, really small businesses, mom and pop shops, shops with. Uh, uh, you know, a, a token office in their home or uh, residence, uh, how they could take advantage of that. Do you, do you see that as something that would be popular that uh, a lot of business folks would uh, end up taking, uh, taking advantage of going forward? Yeah, I mean, I think the, uh, the home office, figuring out uh, which piece of that to, um, is an expense and not is incredibly complicated for people. Um, they're trying to figure it out. I'd welcome simplification. I went through that a little bit when I started uh, up my farm and trying to allocate a chunk of my uh, house to that. And it was I'm trying to figure out the mortgage piece, the insurance piece, uh, property tax piece. It became, uh, you know, very, very difficult. So some of that stuff would be very, very helpful. Um, the other, uh, I guess the, the other comment uh, I'd be interested in uh, is with regard to the uh, the health care bill. It looks like there's going to be a lot of tax credits for small businesses, uh, particularly as they uh, – uh, deal with some of the health insurance things. I would assume most small businesses are not aware of this, at least uh, not to any great degree. Um, do you see a way uh, we would be uh, getting that word out uh, to make sure small businesses are uh, concerned about health care in general but wanting to do the right thing, which I think most small businesses, my little veterinary clinic included, try and do, how they can access uh, some of the small business tax credits for, for many, many businesses out there? Yeah, so obviously the um, recently passed uh, health care bill is a big bill. It's a multi-year bill, and one of the reasons that um, you know I'm unable to answer some of the things that will come in, in place in 2014 is the bill was just passed, and we're focusing on the things that we have to do this year. And just to be very clear and get on the record, what we're doing is administering the tax provisions, not the health provisions. Um, the things that we have to do this year is get a credit program up and running out to small businesses. Uh, to help them uh, uh, pay for health care. There's a new tax on uh, tanning salons. Right. Um, there's a therapeutic discovery credit to give uh, tax grants to companies who come up with uh, innovative ways uh, and innovative uh, therapies. And so that's what we're very focused on. Uh, the thing that's immediately effective is the small business tax credit. Um, we have put out questions and answers. Um, we have uh, deployed our people who do lots of outreach to small business every day to make sure people know that this is available to them because we want people to get credits that are available to them. Um, and we plan on doing uh, a lot of outreach and would be happy to do um, with any member of this committee outreach events uh, in your district on this or other tax provisions and also on just uh, general uh, how IRS can help uh, the open houses, things like that. And so we're very focused on doing outreach on the early provisions in this law, just like we are with every law. Well, I, I appreciate that because I think it's going to put money in the pocket of many struggling small businessmen and women right now so they can improve their bottom line, uh, hire people, and expand their business. Last question would be I, uh, uh, the Blue Dogs, uh, which I'm a member, are putting out a, uh, a fiscal platform trying to make sure we get our, our own fiscal house in order now that we've helped save the country. And what we're trying to do is uh, one of the elements of that is program integrity. And would you comment a little bit? One of the pieces is empowering the IRS. I happen to think that's a good thing to make sure that the, some people who aren't paying their fair share in taxes pay their fair share. I don't mind paying mine. You know, I, we get great services in my state, education, health care, public safety. 
but uh, there's some uh, there's some benchmarks you can use to figure out you know for a dollar of investment in the IRS we can get some back. Yeah, I mean we um, you know the general benchmarks we use. I, you know I'm a big believer that uh, compliance comes about because of service and and enforcement, um, and so we put a lot of money into service, um, trying to help people just meet their uh, tax obligation, understand a complex code. So we um, the the best benchmark we have is just a five to one return uh, on the overall uh, IRS budget and our, our dollars that are brought in, not the overall collection you know, for the country, but the dollars from direct IRS actions. Um, depending on the program, though, we have you know, up to 20 to one return, some of our document matching programs. Um, in our appropriation every year, we have details about program by program, the return, and we'd be happy to uh, share that with you. Thank you very much. I yield back.